guys, today's video is going to be something I would really want to make because this is a video about why you should be careful and what vacuum you're buying and what you should know about vacuums as well. So today's video is going to be just about that subject. And I will not be putting links. This is not a sponsored video. Both of these I bought with my own money. Okay, here we go. So, number one. I know a lot of people get confused between canister and bagless vacuums. A canister is not one of these bagless vacuums. These are actually called dust bins or dust, like, whatever you like to call them. They're not canisters. Actually, canister vacuums are not bagless vacuums, but some bagless vacuums are canister vacuums. I do not have a canister vacuum at this moment right now, but a canister vacuum is one that would follow you on wheels. Like, you would have the wand and the hose connecting to it, and you would roll it. And they're still made today. They're not just your ancient, like, one of those old vacuums. And you would, like, it would be following you around. You would be, yeah, that's a canister. Not a bagless vacuum is a totally different thing. But some canister vacuums are a bagless vacuum, like the Bissell Zing, the, um, so hard floor mate and i know a lot of people don't like bags but you should buy a bag vacuum honestly over a bagless no matter what your needs are no matter if you have just like a small house you still need a bag vacuum honestly because when you empty a bagless vacuum out you when you empty it all of the dust when you empty it inside it gets everywhere and even when you do it outside it gets everywhere it can get in your face and everything and also that's kind of polluting the air inside and most bagless vacuums have a lot more maintenance, like filters and stuff, and they're a lot cheaper made. And most of them are made in China. And if you want to know what your vacuum model and vacuum, like, um, where your vacuum is made, and just t go, if it depends. It would usually be down here on these cheaper tiny quality ones. It would say, made in China, model 22252, two, 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 which I already know that. And the bag vacuums actually still have them, but they're way more better quality. And also, another reason why is because bags, all you have to do... Sorry, I, I just don't like... I didn't have enough... Uh, I didn't have a HEPA bag, so I just wanted to put these Recore Vibrance ones in here. All you have to do is just like, unclip this, literally. But this one's a little tough because I put it in really hard. I mean, I put it in like very tight. <laughs> so you just take it in, dump it away. The third way, I mean, and they have a lot less filters. They most bag vacuums have a pre mode filter, but some have a head filter like mine. And I should replace mine, as you'll see, it has a lot of carbon dust. And I should replace it probably by buying one, which you should mostly do. And also, bag vacuums have a lot less maintenance. I'm not saying it, I'm a, a lot of people buy bag vacuums to be lazy. I'm just saying that they are less maintenance and they are better cleaning actually because they. Because bagless vacuums, the filters get clogged way too easily. They use, they lose a lot of airflow. If these bag vacuums, there's something called direct air and bypass. Most bag vacuums are bypass, but some in the olden days were direct air, which means that still both of those were really good. But bagless is a newer thing from night, like it was like 1990s, and. So you should not consider buying a bagless vacuum, no matter what brand, no matter what type of need you have. Like if you need like a vacuum for quick pickups, you could probably get away with buying a bagless vacuum for quick pickups, unless. It's, but the only bagged vacuum I know of that's for quick is the Henry Quick, which is a bag slash bagless, which is the only thing I can recommend with a vacuum. But you should only, but. Yeah, that's the difference between that. And num and now my next thing. Here are the brands that I like and don't like. Number one, do not buy Shark. Shark has no parts available on their website, and most of them are just the parts that won't even break most of the time. And anyway, their warranties are not that well either, even if you they say. They are just, their infomercials are obviously fake. Um, they make terrible quality products. They're made in China. It's really just a hassle to get everything apart. Like, they're not as easy as, like, most of these vacuums made today, even if they're made in China. All you have to do is just take, like, some kind of screw on the base plate and then just, like, unscrew it and then, boom, you have the bushel. But on sharks, you have to have, like, a special kind of... <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
and mostly shrug vacuums are all, all of the shrug vacuums are bagless, which is really disappointing. And here's another brand I want. Dyson. They are way too overrated. They have their products are way too expensive when they should be only like fifty nine dollars, honestly. Their vacuums are bagless, don't like them. They only and um you think that James Dyson Oh no, Dyson invented the ball, the swivel. No, he did not. He bought it. He said in one of his like, uh, I think some, it was in like his DC twenty something. I don't know. It said in the, that he said he bought it. He did not invent it. And also there was some. And then also I've heard him being kind of like a mean person or like a just like a really just not being that good of a person, honestly. And the only thing. The only bagless vacuums I could recommend is something like a Bissell, but not this Bissell, because I do like this Bissell, but it's not what you would want. I do recommend the Bissell Multi-Clean Allergen Liftoff Pet and the Bissell um, Pet Hair Eraser Turbo. Any of the Bissells that are at least over $150, I can recommend those. And these some in, an, in another brand I do not like. You might get mad at me for this, a lot of people. I do not like <laughs> Dirt Devil. They are cheap. They are made in China. They don't make any good vacuums. I can't even think of a good vacuum they've made. Honestly, they, 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 they it's invent, so, there was this vacuum brand called Royal. They were really good. They had aluminum, good, I don't remember, because I wasn't born when they were here and that stuff, and, um, they were terrible. Well, I was born when they were here, but this, they are Dirt Devil's terrible. They have no. They do have parts, I think. I don't know if they have a website. I've never checked. I've only checked about Bissell and Truck and whatever. But I know Dirt Devil is really cheap. They're made in China. They only last about, like, what, two years? Same as Shark. They only last two years. And um, they're just really, like, not that good. They were purposely invented for the... Um, they were just purposely invented to be a bad vacuum, honestly. And they were sold at Sears and mostly, they were mostly made to be sold at Sears, Kmart, and whatever other stores that went out of business, that like the other ones. And another thing I want to talk about is the brands I do like. I love Simplicity. You see right here, this is a Simplicity. To be exact, the Simplicity S20 EZM. This is a great budget vacuum. I do not want recommend a budget bagless vacuum unless it's one of those bezels I was talking about over $150. This Simplicity's meh, a little higher than a budget. It's $210.20, I think, on Amazon. It's not that bad. Great service. I know it's a one-year warranty, but they still have a lot of parts available at your look. And you only you can only buy Simplicity at a local vacuum store. In the local vac, here's another thing I want to talk about. Local vacuum stores, they have the best, if not the best, vacuums you could possibly buy today. They have SIBO, they have Recall. Another thing I want to say Simplicity, Recall, Tornado, Clean Max, um, anything is made, not SIBO though, is made by Tacconi. Well, to be exact, Clean Max, Simplicity, Recall, um, Titan. Fuller made, um, and other brands I don't even know, are made by Tacconi. And they are all, all these vacuums are made by the in the U.S. And they are pretty good with warranties. I would recommend, I don't recommend any of those other brands by Tacconi. I only recommend Tornado, Simplicity, and Recar. I mostly recommend Recar because even though they're expensive, you get what you get for your money. You get a long warranty, long hose actually. This one is, is the budget one and also has a long hose. I'll show you that in a few minutes. And, um... They also are way better built. You see this one has a metal handle, metal brush hole, which creates more agitation. And agitation is when the vacuum vibrates the carpet, and you can see all of the dirt just vibrating, and, that, and that's really good. And this is all just made out of plastic, as you can see. All of it, literally all of it is made out of plastic, except for the hose. It's made out of cheap rubber. This is actually rubber, too, but it's not a cheap kind of rubber. It's actually a really good stretch rubber hose. And with these simplicities and recalls, they have a pretty good long cord. This this one only has like seven, I think a twenty foot cord. This has a thirty five foot or uh, thirty foot cord. I don't remember. And they're really easy to disassemble. And this simplicity right here actually has a full bag slash airflow blockage sensor. 
Um, this one also has a light. This one doesn't. If you've never vacuumed with a light before, you understand how good it is. But I don't like many of the batteries vacuums with a light. Um, another thing I'm going to say is if you go to a local vacuum store, they may talk about SIBO. They are made in Germany. That is, you get for you, you get for your money. They may be really expensive, but they're really good in warranty. They're high quality, just like Simplicity and Recar. But they're not made by Tacconi. They're just a separate company. But they do make other brands called Kartscher and Windsor, which is the commercial line of SIBO vacuums. And it's the same design, basically. But it's really good. They have pretty good parts. It's really good and excellent infiltration. Also, these cheaper vacuums do not have good filtration. Even though they might have like a HEPA filter, they don't have a sealed system, which is not good. And if you go to any of those vacuum channels that do fog tests, don't believe that. Do I do recommend channels that use um, like a particle thing where you it would be like the thing a particle sensor i think that's what it's called and you would just that's what i do this is what that's the professional fog that's that's no vacuum could handle that even vacuums with a head filter don't know that fog test isn't really real honestly and another thing i want to talk about is if you just want to be a stay-at-home mom or something you can buy Simplicities on Amazon, but not... You can buy this one. You can also buy the Scout Plus, which I do recommend, too. But mostly, if you are at Stay Home Mom, just buy Simplicity, people. You can buy SIBO on Amazon, but it's, like, only the Felix one. But also, another thing I want to say is that most cheap vacuums don't have... They might have a swivel... Which is nice, but this one doesn't have like a nice swivel because if you go around, you it literally just hits on everything. Like, look, I even tried, and look, it just, it just, see, it just hits everything. It's really, and even vacuums with these four wheels, like these more expensive ones, they do not have a swivel, but some of them do. But the ones without a swivel are actually easier to maneuver, in my opinion, because even having to move your whole body, it's not going to hit on anything. And anyway, it feels like it's going to clean better, in my opinion. But this is all just my opinion, but the facts are that shark, no, that's not a fact, it's just my opinion. There are no facts, I'm talking about this video, this is just my opinion, because I, ha I have been, I've been repairing vacuums, I've been doing it at home with all the stuff. I've seen what they've been doing, and to my opinion, Shark Dyson is just a ridiculous brand, do not buy them. Only Bissell's under over $150, yay. Bissell's under $150, nay. Um, okay, since that, that full thing is done, now I want to talk about something else about these vacuums. Well, not just these, but like vacuums in general. Here are some of the problems that most vacuums have the cheaper vacuums. They are all made out of plastic. They break easily. They do have parts, but the most of the time, if you call them, they'll just want you to replace the whole thing, though. But, like, it's kind of not that well. It's, it's kind of... It's kind of ridic it is ridiculous. And with these more expensive ones, it's kind of the same thing, but a lot better because they don't want you to buy it until they know what's happening. Like, if it's if it the whole vacuum, like the motor's went out, they're going to want you to replace it. But if it's just the bag, they're going to tell you we have a part on. And also, these more expensive vacuums, you can actually take them to a vacuum store and get them repaired. These cheap ones, too, yay. Yeah, I mean, yes, they can, but they're not as good because they'll still not last as long. But these, you can get them repaired. It's, you can also get a free service plan with Recar and Simplicity because it's really nice, too. Another thing, cheap vacuums aren't that good at picking up dirt honestly honestly for me it's all about airflow it's another thing it's not about suction suction is not what a vacuum needs a vacuum needs really good airflow and really good agitation and as i said earlier agitation is vibrant in the carpet and the dirt comes up suction is really not what a vacuum needs it's it's kind of a vacuum without Airflow would not pick up dirt. A vacuum without suction would pick up dirt. Even without suction, it would do the same thing with airflow. Airflow is what moves your dirt. Suction doesn't. That's the full thing. Suction doesn't move your dirt. Airflow does. If a vacuum doesn't have suction, it'll be fine if it has enough airflow. 
And with these, this doesn't have stiff bristles because this just has soft ones, but this one isn't as stiff though. It may be see, stiff, but these don't go out of the cleaner head enough to like vibrate the carpet as well. And with these more expensive ones, they have a metal bushel, which is nice because it creates more agitation and better. Like this one it may seem like it's not hair wrap, but since it's a wide bushel, it has anti hair wrap. And see how stiff these bristles are? This is like amazing for a vacuum in this bushel. Metal bushel, and you can just take this piece of tape off. That's how you replace the bushel. You don't have to replace the whole bushel. And, um,. I'll do a demonstration, like, real, real quick about uh, suction and airflow. Let me pause it real quick. As you see, there's popcorn right here. Popcorn kernels, I mean. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the vacuum right over here, fully sealed to this table. And this is going to be max suction, no airflow, nothing about airflow. This is going to be max suction power, no airflow coming in. I'm going to turn the vacuum on. As I said, that was max suction. This is airflow. You see now, that was airflow. This is suction. Suction does not do anything to your dirt. Also, I'm going to demonstrate it on this cheaper vacuum, which is Abyssal. Clean your sofa at 252. And this one doesn't have as long as a hose, so it's going to be difficult for me to do it without it falling over. Same thing. Bring it a little closer. Come on. Okay, this one won't, like, stay down. Oh, I let a lot of airflow go out. My bad. I let a lot of airflow go out. What I did was I didn't keep it sealed. I was doing this because it was hard to do it. And like when I was recording, I was doing this. So uh, there was airflow coming out. So sorry. Well, well, still, as you know, it's not about suction. It's about airflow. Let me cut this video so I can wrap these back up and do other thing. As I was putting the hose back on, I found that there was a kernel coming. Actually, oh, all three kernels came back down from this. So it actually wasn't in the hose. It just fell off. So still... Now I'm going to show you guys what agitation is, but first I need to go grab my testing materials and my black rug. Okay, here's the black rug. Let me straighten it out a little bit. Here's my testing materials, fake pet hair, oatmeal. It was full, I promise. Um, yeah, dump it out. Hair down, got that down. Now I'm also going to put a little bit of baking soda over here. I'm going to deeply embed it. I'm going to show a video of that so I'm not faking it, and then I'll use the simple because I'm not faking anything. Now I'm going to use the simplicity, run it over here, and I'll show you how good the agitation is on this, and I'm also going to do the same thing I did with the simplicity on the Vizzle. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of it on the carpet. I don't want to put too much because it can ruin your vacuum, but I'm just going to put, like, a tiny bit of that stuff down there. All right. Now I'm going to show you for proof that I'm deeply embedded in it into the rug. And you cannot see it. It's not on my hand. As you can see. It's in there. Good. Now, let's do the simplicity. It's on its lowest setting. I'm probably going to put it on its auto setting since I don't want it to get bogged down. Now, let's get started. Look at that. Okay, you cannot see it. Simplicity again. I just wanted to show you how good that was. Yep, I did one pass, but the because the agitation was so insane, it moved up into the middle, which is not a problem because it's really good actually. Also, I don't have a HEPA bag in here, but it does have a HEPA filter. But I mean, it does. It, it actually does have quite a bit of tangles, but not that much actually to get like no agitation at all. <laughs>
that's what I mean, how good this is. Also, I'll do a video of cleaning this whole carpet after this video. Now, another thing. I'm going to do the Bissell now. So, I'm going to do the same thing for proof. I'm going to use that amount a little bit less because I'm going to... Well, actually, a little bit more. No, I'm going to do the same amount. I'm not a scientist or anything, but do you think this is the same amount of usable simplicity? If not, just tell me in the comments and I'll remake this video for a quick one. Not just talking about... I'll just do a quick version of this on the, if, if I did not do it correctly. The reason why it looks like I used some more oatmeal is because I had a handful in that one and just put it there, but I, this one I did a little different. Now I'm just going to put the baking soda. Not as much since it is a bag list, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, I think that's enough. You know, I'm just going to do the same. Just, nah, I just, okay. I just don't want to hurt my bag list vacuum because that one is a pretty good cleaner. Let's see a little dust coming out. I got everything. Now I want to deeply embed this so it's stuck on the carpet. Okay, let's go. Let's set in. I don't want to get bogged down on the carpet because I know this one is a bagless one and it's different. Now I'm going to make sure I don't get tripped on the cord. And the cord holder. Let's go. job for vacuuming that price range. I am surprised since it did better than a regular vacuum in this price range would do. Now I'm going to check the filters to show you. Actually, yep. Oatmeal. Oh, that's a lot. I cleaned this filter. There was a lot of dust from that oatmeal. You see what I mean? I did. The, the reason why this doesn't have a heavy filter, I added more filtration to it. I added a dryer lint sheet, another dryer lint sheet, shark filter that I took out, and this filter. So I can have at least better filtration than it did. So I could at least get some of that, like, allergens. But I know that won't, but I'm talking about, like, the dust. Because I know it can still go through with just two filters. So I'm just, like, trying to be extra careful because I am allergic to dust. But I do like this one. I just don't like how it's backless. Now I'm going to go over the same. Now I'm going to go over the same top of this. Oh, never mind. I just don't want to put that back on. Now I'm going to go over the same spot as the simplicity. See if it picks anything up. Now I'm going to put it on this one. This one's a little more tough because it's high quality. Oh. Nope. Well, I guess I'll do. All right, let's go. Oh, it's making a little bit of oatmeal up. All right, what about the baking soda? Now I'm going to clean this carpet off, shake it out, put it on the car. Then I'm going to vacuum this carpet with the simplicity because I know it does well. And then I'll run over this to see and show you and stuff. Alrighty. Now let's go with the simplicity again. I'm going to get some of this off. Click it, see, just regular, and then watch this. 
goes all the way under. No problem. It's kind of like an orc, but a little bigger. All right. So, that is my explanation on vacuums. Please consider subscribing. You don't have to, but please consider do. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will, I will reply. I will answer them most likely. If you have any questions about these vacuums or any vacuums that you would, if I would recommend any of them, just comment below. Don't, don't worry. I'll answer them. And another thing, quick note. Do not, if you do have a bag of slacking, if you don't want to place it, don't have to. But, if you don't, all I do maintain, here's the maintain maintenance that you need to do. You need to clean the filters, wash them in water, let them dry overnight. If it has a heavy filter, just shake that out in the trash can. Don't, like, um, wash it. It's not washable. Clean the hose out in, like, a hose or something. Let it dry overnight, shake it, and if you feel water, let it dry again. Clean the brush roll if it's not a so if, if it's not anti-tangle. And... Give it a quick wipe down. If you have any Clorox wipes or like any wet wags, just wipe the whole outside of it. You don't have to do the whole. Just, I recommend doing this part and like the handle. On the, and also, if you see a lot of dust building up like this, wipe it off. Also, if you want to get thoroughly clean on your vacuum, use a Q-tip. Like use like a wet Q-tip, but kind of like shake it off on the um, thing and then just like get all the induction crannies and stuff. And yeah, so with bag vacuums, just wash the pre-motor filter if it has one. Don't wash the HEPA filter because I know most guy vacuums do. Do not wash it. Just shake it out and replace it after every six months. So, ba bagless vacuums. Replace it every six to three months. If it has a lot of carbon dust like mine does, replace it. And I'm going to replace it. Okay. And I can't get this on. You know what? I'll just end the video right here because I was supposed to anyway. Yeah, it's sometimes. Actually, no. All right. Thank you for watching, as I said. Yeah. Thanks for watching.